Hello everybody. This video is going to show you how to set up an InDesign file to hold 10 business cards and how once you have created one of the business cards, say like this, how you can use step and repeat to fill all the other little areas for business cards. So first let me show you how to start the file. I will go File, New, Document. I want the business cards to be on a letter size page. I will turn facing pages off and it will be 8.5 by 11 orientation up and I want it to have it doesn't I don't have to worry about these columns right now or gutter. Now my top margin an 11 by set, uh, 8.5 document I want my cards, 10 of them, and they're 2 inches high, so that would be 10 inches. So from 10 inches from here down to here. But I have 11, so the top and bottom margins need to be 1 half. I'm going to unhook, unlink these uh, margins here. Now my left and right margins, let's see, our page is 8.5, our cards are actually three and a half, so that'd be three and a half, and three and a half would be seven. Seven from eight and a half is one and a half. And divide that by two, I need to have the the left and right be 0.75, three quarters of an inch, and right, three quarters of an inch. And that's how I'm setting it up for now. I will go OK. Now, I will actually need two pages, so let me go ahead and add a page here. I will go on to the A Master to do my grids, because then it will show up on all of my pages. Okay, we want 10 business cards in two columns, so that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What I'm going to do is set up guides. We will go to Layout, Margins, no, ruler guide, create guides, I'm sorry. Create guides. Okay. We're going to have five business cards down, so that would be five rows and two business cards across, so the columns would be two. I do not want any gutters between these little sections that are being sectioned off. Now, I want my business cards to be between the margins, so I will click between the margins this page will not set up your cards right so have it between the margins and if I had any existing rulers guides I would turn them off but I don't have any right now and I will go OK there they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 now let's see on page A1 there's my grids or my guides and page 2 has my guides so that's how I set up the InDesign document. Now, I have a business card here. The next thing I want to show you is once I create the front and the back to my business cards, I don't want to have to recreate it for each one of these squares. I want to have it created and maybe use step and repeat to fill in the other squares. So my front here is St. Silver Beach in St. Joe, Michigan. And then page two, wait, page two is the back of my card. We have it all, beach, lighthouse, amusement rides, concert shell, historic carousel, and shops. And I have a website. So this is my business card. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'll go to page one for step and repeat. Now that all this is here, these, this is a box for this text and here's a box for the picture. I want to group that. So I'll select it, and I will go Command-G on the Mac or, or Control-G on the PCs to group. Now let's go to page 2. I will select all of this, go Command-G or Control-G, so they're grouped. Now, what I'm going to do is use Step and Repeat to fill in the rest of the squares here. So I will click on my my uh, business card and uh, mind you it's grouped and now I will go edit step and repeat 
whoops, here, let's turn this off so you don't see what I'm doing. Okay, it's going to be in a grid of five rows, two columns. And I'm going to create the grid. If I didn't, it'd just be five rows every, or, or a repeat. I'd have to do four of them, a repeat every two inches. But I want to create the grid. I have five row cards down, two columns wide and click on grid. Now the vertical offset will be two inches because this is two inches, that's two inches, that's two inches, that's two inches. The cards are two inches high. The horizontal, the cards are three and a half inches wide. So I'm going to do horizontal offset three and a half and I'm going to go OK. There it is. There it is. I'm going to go hit W so you can see what my cards look like. Let's go to the second page. We will do the same thing. Click on We Have It All. Let's turn on W here so you can see the grid. I will go Edit, Step and Repeat, and I'm going to make it a grid, and it's going to have five cards up and down and two cards sideways. Two inches up and down and an offset of three and a half inches and I will go OK. Now let me hit W and you can see what my cards look like. There's the back of my cards. Here's the front of my cards. What a printer would do would be to print the front then they'd put the, car the card stock back into the printer and print the back and then they would cut them. So there you have it. It's not as hard as you think. So try this out and um, it should work for you. Have a good day.